we are in Miami and we are in the Little Havana neighborhood. And whenever we visit this town, pretty much the first thing that we do is head over to a little sandwich shop that's in a strip mall here in Little Havana called Sandwich. It's got what we think is probably the best Cuban sandwich in Miami, but it might be one of the top sandwiches in the entire country. And so the first thing we do when we hop off the plane is come over here. We can't come into town without stopping in the sandwich and getting the sandwich. And so we're excited to eat it. We're here at Sandwich. This is one of our absolute favorite restaurants, pretty much in the whole country. We got the croquetta preparata, which is a classic Cuban sandwich with croquettas on top. If we've ordered it before, we get it every time we come here. And secondly, we got the Sandwich de Miami, which is turkey, Swiss, and bacon. Again, these are some of our favorite sandwiches in the whole world, and I am just very excited to be here. The Cuban with croquetas on it. You can see the croquetas actually up, up in here. You got the pork, you got the ham, you got the mustard, the cheese. And pickles. And the pickles. Press Cuban bread. And this is hot. I can't wait more. One of the things I love about Cuban sandwiches is the point. It's kind of like eating a piece of pizza. You just get all those flavors on that point. And, oh man, this sandwich. It's worth a trip to Miami. This is the moment I've been waiting for since we stepped off the airplane in Miami. All I can say is it's absolutely delicious. And like Adam said, these two sandwiches right here are worth the entire trip to Miami. My turn with the turkey sandwich. I'm gonna pour a little of house sauce on there. I think it's some kind of like mozo sauce or like a garlic mayo or something like that. It's good. I know, turkey sandwich, like, simplest thing in the world. It's just better here. Another delicious stop in to Sandwich here in Miami. And a couple tips. One, it can have a line, especially midday. Um, I believe at the end of the day, on certain days of the week, like the last hour they're open, you can get in pretty easily. And then they also have a walk-up window. You can get sandwiches to go. And I believe you can now order online. So it's a little easier to get than it was when they first opened a few years ago. Um, and that's a good thing. We are starting our day off here in Key Biscayne and we're stopping in to Pana for some breakfast. We're gonna stop in for a quick breakfast before we head out and explore Key Biscayne. Our breakfast has arrived here at Pana. We've got a criollo plate. We have plantains, scrambled eggs, shredded beef, uh, black beans and some cheese. Let's get a little bit of everything and a bite here. Mm. That's some good flavor. I'm not actually sure what I just made, but I do know this bread is steaming hot.
Right now we're in the Bill Bags Cape Florida State Park and we are walking up to the lighthouse here. Pretty cool. Wow, this is a beautiful area. Water looks gorgeous. We're gonna head over to the beach here in a minute, but we're just taking in the lighthouse. They do tours. I think we just missed one because they just locked it up and uh, headed out, but they do tours and you can actually go up inside. So uh, if we just gotten here a little early, we could have headed up to the top of the lighthouse. That was the Lighthouse Keeper's Cottage. Kind of a nice little place. And not a bad, not a bad view at all. Oh, and there's an outhouse. Yee. I'm really glad we took some time today to go over this lighthouse. It's really well constructed. The park is um, pristine. It's a well kept path. There's a newly built kind of uh, quarters that the lighthouse keeper would stay in that they've kind of made as a replica. Kind of a nice area to get away from Miami. It's only like 15 minutes outside the city. Well, we're now heading over to the beach area here at Bill Baggs State Park. It's actually just like a two minute walk from the lighthouse, but the water is very clear and I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, I've just been laying here staring at the lighthouse for like an hour. It's really peaceful, really relaxing. It's a good spot, I like it. I think we're gonna go grab some lunch here in the state park. Here is our hog snapper at the Lighthouse Cafe. My God. Um, let's squeeze one of these limes. And then I guess I'm just gonna go right in. Um, wow. Mm. Super crispy. Super fresh. Mm. Wow. Um, it's intimidating to look at, but it was tasty. And a really nice setting here. Water's right over there, so it makes it easy to just pop in. <laughs> An incredible lunch. Mm. All about rice here. Ready for the B side? It's like second fish. <laughs> well, my lunch is a little less dramatic than Madeline's, but I got a grilled chicken sandwich. I think it's on Cuban bread, but um, right here by the beach, it's a good spot to eat a little cleaner. Well, tasty lunch, and we're gonna keep rolling here in Miami and see what else this town's got in store for us.
Well, after a long day at the beach, we decided we deserve some sweet treats. There's a couple sweet treat spots that we found right next to each other. So we're over in Wynwood, and we're about to go to the Salty and get some donuts. Well, I got the brown butter donut. I know it sounds simplistic, but my mom actually makes a donut that she covers in brown butter frosting, and it's pretty amazing. So I wanted to try the Salty's version, see how it stacked up to my mom's. It's pretty good. I think they may have a better donut than my mom, but my brown, mom's brown butter frosting might be better. Sometimes simple things are the best in life. My choice was the chocolate hazelnut, and when I ordered it, she said, good choice. So, I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. Wow, absolutely beautiful, like chocolate glaze on top. I'm sure that there is something in the middle of this. I'm going to be very careful. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Here's some like candied hazelnuts on top. That is decadent. I don't know if I would recommend eating this for breakfast. It is the perfect afternoon sweet treat. Wow. Salty is in the Wynwood jungle, which might just be one of the most Instagrammable places I've ever been. We are here at Fireman Derrick's and we have some key lime pie. You know, we're very close to Key West and it's hard to resist when key lime pie is on the menu. Ooh. That hits a spot after a beach day. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Another bite. I absolutely love key lime pie. I think sometimes we're gonna, I think sometime we're gonna go to the Florida Keys and try and find the best key lime pie in the Keys. For today, we'll settle for this one here at Derek's. For dinner tonight, we came over to an area that's got a whole bunch of food trucks. We're getting a Cuban sandwich from a truck called Cubano, and we're getting chicken shawarma from a truck called Chic Shack. Adam absolutely loves Cuban sandwiches, and this one's pretty highly rated, so we're pretty excited to try it. Cuban sandwich, classic, we got the mustard. We got the pork, we got the ham, Swiss cheese, Cuban bread. What I love about a Cuban sandwich is that even though it's the same ingredients, everyone's got a little bit of a different twist on it. This one's really tight and uh, good ingredients, good Cuban sandwich. Okay, here is our chicken shawarma. We got a wrap here, we got a couple of falafel and a whole plate of seasoned fries. Wow. Go for it. Deep. Tons of flavor. Ooh. Oh, that's good. I don't think I'm gonna share this. Madeline did share it. I'm gonna try it. Tons of flavor in there. There's like pickles, lettuce, onions, sauce on there. Plane flying overhead. Yep.
We are starting off our day here in Miami, actually over in Miami Beach, and we wanted to start at one of the most iconic restaurants in the whole Miami area, and that's Joe's Stone Crab. Stone Crab is an absolute delicacy here in Florida, and if you're here in Stone Crab season, it's almost impossible to come and not get some. Here we have our large stone crabs here at Joe's, and crab is one of my favorite foods, so I'm very excited to dig into this. So let's just go ahead and take this first one here. They've already pre-cracked them, and the nice part about stone crabs is you can really get a nice big chunk. They give you the butter sauce right here, a little bit of their mustard. Stone crab is so amazing. It's amazing you dip it in the butter and you also have that mustard sauce on it. We're gonna get every little piece of crab out of these. Okay, here we have the Miami fish and chips. It is fried grouper served with plantains. We've got two dipping sauces here. This is kind of like a sweet, spicy kind of a cocktail sauce. And then we have kind of a lemon, more like a lemon tartar sauce. So I'm gonna go for the spicy one. Mm, mm, mm. So crispy, so fresh. I'm gonna go back for this other sauce here. Mm. So good. We absolutely love fish and chips, so Miami fish and chips was a must. Mm. Okay, my turn with the stone crab here. My goodness. Wow. Just absolutely gigantic pieces here. Shells coming right off. Oh, that is beautiful. Make sure we get some butter. A little bit of mustard sauce. Wow. Wow. So good. Absolutely delicious. Fresh from the ocean. We got five pieces here. Wow, I wish we got more. I don't think we could afford more. It is a hefty price tag, but worth it. All right, here's these fish and chips, and they are grouper fish and chips. Anytime you get grouper in Florida, you should just go ahead and do it. Um, I'm gonna dunk it in this tartar sauce, squeeze a little bit of this lime on it. So Joe's is a fine, fine dining establishment. However, right next door to it, they have Joe's Takeout. Um, it's got a little bit longer hours, especially during the week. And the dress code is a little more relaxed than there is in the actual restaurant. But you can still get the same stone crab over here. Stone crab is definitely a delicacy, but it's definitely not the most delicate of foods when you're eating it. Because it takes a while to rip apart all the pieces protecting that delicious, delicious crab meat that you ultimately dunk in butter. So I don't think you really lose anything in the experience by coming over to the takeout spot. Um, might be a little faster and you can save stone crab. This mustard sauce. Well, after a terrific start to our day over at Joe's, we're gonna head over to Miami Beach and hang out on the beach for a little bit. It's a beautiful day here in Miami, as it usually is. Unfortunately, I have a cold, 
um, which tends to happen to me when I go to warm weather locations. So I do sound a little bit stuffy, but hopefully this uh, nice beach weather helps get rid of that cold. We spent about a good hour on the beach. The Miami heat started getting to us a little bit. And believe it or not, we are kind of hungry for lunch, even though we kind of had lunch for breakfast. So we're gonna head over to another iconic Miami spot. And if you're fans of the movie Chef, you might recognize it. For lunch today, we are in the Little Havana neighborhood in Miami, and we're going to be having a delicious Cuban feast at Versailles. Now, Madeline and I have eaten at Versailles a few times. However, every time we've gotten it, we've gotten it to go. And so we're excited to actually eat in the dining room. There's a famous mirrored wall, and you see it in the movie Chef. Well, the Cuban sandwich has arrived here at Versailles, and it is the fundamental when it comes to Cuban sandwiches. Ham, pork, pickle, Swiss cheese, mustard, and all on pressed Cuban bread. I'm pretty sure this has been enjoyed by millions. There's a reason. I ordered the ropa vieja with sweet plantains and yellow rice. Shredded beef with onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, in this stewed in this beautiful sauce here. We are going to get a little of that and get a little bit of rice here. Here we go. Oh, that's so good. This is my go-to order whenever we get Cuban food. It's so good. So much flavor. And honestly, I swear, we ordered our food and 30 seconds later, everything came out. Super fast, hot, delicious. This place, they know exactly what they're doing. So I think Adam is pretty much having a perfect moment right now because he absolutely loves the movie Chef. He watched it in preparation for coming here and now we're sitting in this room where they filmed the movie and enjoying a Cuban sandwich as a family. I, uh, I really don't know if we could get much better than this. Pile it on some rice, get some plantain with it. That is a bite. That is a bite right there. I mean, Robo Vieja is great. I think anytime I eat at a Cuban restaurant, the plantains are the absolute star of the show. They're so delicious. They should be on like every menu. Cuban sandwich here at Versailles. We've had it before, but we've never eaten in house here. I think it just makes a bit of a difference. The Cuban sandwich has to be among the most perfect sandwiches in existence. It's so simple, so delicious. Gotta love it. Well, now we are heading over to the walk up counter to get a Cuban coffee. Mm. Ooh, ooh, that's good. That is good. It's nice and sweet. Fuel I need keep exploring here in Miami. Mm. 
one last meal for today and that's here in the design district in Miami. We're actually going to a Mediterranean bistro called Mandolin Aegean Bistro. It's a Mediterranean spot. The menu looks absolutely amazing. And uh, unbelievably, we are hungry again. While here in Miami, we are staying at a condo we rented in the design district. So we decided to go out in that neighborhood for dinner. Our starter has arrived here at Mandolin g and Bistro. We got the Turkish Sampler, which has hummus, uh, tomato, and like an eggplant spread. So I'm gonna go with the eggplant here. Oh, that's good. Honestly, like I could eat this for dinner every night because I just love dips and apps. So this is right up my alley. Let's mix in a little hummus here. Hummus is really good. Hummus isn't the most exciting thing, but that is a really good one. All right, I'm gonna get my shot at this appetizer. I'm going hummus first. And then I'm gonna top it with this tomato dip. Smells incredible. You can see the olive oil just dripping off that uh, piece of bread there. Oh man, it looks amazing. Those are just good quality ingredients right there. For dinner tonight, I got the chicken kebab, it comes with rice, and I do a little Caesar salad on the side. And then Adam got the dumplings, which kind of looks like gnocchi, and I think I'm gonna be pretty jealous of that dish because it looks amazing. Uh, looks beautiful, beautiful plating, and I'm just gonna go in on uh, some of my chicken here. Got tzatziki. Oh, it's not rice. It's orzo. Duh. Duh. That's why I ordered it. Very good. Really clean, delicious, flavorful dish here. And I think, I really, I think this is just a little Caesar salad on the side. We read the menu, but we don't always remember what we get. So here's my dish. Like Madeline said, we don't we kind of look at the menu and we kind of forget what we ordered. But I do know that these are dumplings and then this is a burnt butter. So I have no, I, I literally have no idea if this is sweet, if this is savory. I just, it just sounded good. So let's see. The white sauce is kind of um, yogurty, but more savory. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Um, kind of like uh, the white sauce you would find on top of like a shawarma, but it's more of like a pasta creamy sauce. That's the best way I can describe it. And then that butter just kind of sits there. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like the dumplings are a lot like gnocchi, so. Pretty interesting. I've never had a dish like this, but uh, we will be eating all of it. For dinner tonight, we are in the Wynwood district of Miami, and we're actually going to a taco spot. It's one of the local popular chains down here, but we've always wanted to try it. We're here at Coyo Taco. We've got pastor tacos, chicken tacos, and a carne asada quesadilla coming out. We've seen some food come out. We saw the quesadillas come by. We were like, we're getting one of those. We're hungry. We're in Miami, beautiful day. We're ready to eat.
well. My massive carne asada quesadilla has arrived. I probably wasn't gonna get a quesadilla until I saw them coming out, and it looks really good. That's a good quesadilla. Pastoral tacos. They look beautiful. Beautiful hand pressed tortillas. Delicious flavor, pineapple, cilantro, potato cheese. That's it, the spot. Mm, that's good. Okay, we also got the chicken tacos here. Fresh salsa on top. Another good looking taco. Absolutely packed with flavor. You can see that right there. Look at this taco. I think, are those potatoes? I think those are potatoes. Yeah. Absolutely delicious stop at Coyo Tacos. Awesome neighborhood, super lively. There's a festival going on tonight, so there are tons of people all around and music and just a, just a fun stop here in Miami. Definitely getting the full Miami experience right now. We're having a good time eating some delicious food. For more of our food adventures, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.